Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a filter coffee. So first, you need to measure the amount of cups that you want to make the coffee. For that, take a cup and fill it with the amount of water that you need in order to make a filter coffee. So, take a water boiler and then fill it up. Now, boil some water. Next, prepare your French coffee press or whatever you have. So here I'm using an uh, IKEA French press. Next, take some coffee powder according to your taste. So for me, I am making one cup of coffee. For that, I'm going to need like one spoon of coffee powder. So Take one full spoon of coffee powder and then keep it in the French press. Next, securing. So I use an airtight container in order to store my coffee powder. I also seal it, but it is just an extra care. Next, okay. Since our water is boiled, now pour the water in the French press. Don't pour completely, have some water left. Now take, a sp take the spoon and stir it. Why we are stirring? In order to just to make sure that the coffee powder is mixed properly with the boiling water. Then, so you can see in the sides there is some coffee powder. Okay, so water is empty. Fine. Just make sure the coffee powder doesn't stick to the walls. Next, we are going to make a French press ready. So for this, take your coffee filters and screw the filter. Okay. So then. Just wait for uh, one minute so that the coffee gets enough air for it to breathe. Mm, okay, in the meantime we can fill some water or uh, some milk. So here I'm using uh, 3.5 fat fresh milk. So take the fresh milk from your fridge and fill it up as per your taste. I usually make it like uh, 3 by 4th of the cup. As 
you can see I filled up top with 3 by 4 cup of milk now I think almost now one minute is completed so it's time for you to close the lid don't press the plunger in the French press right now because you need to wait at least four minutes to five minutes according to your taste so that the coffee gets all all heated up with the boiling water and gets the aroma you can see the lid is too hot so so why use a french press and not a paper filter with a coffee filter cone it's because uh, the IKEA French press costs around like 10 euros and the coffee filter you have to pay all the time the only advantage is the ease of clean the coffee filter with the French press you have to manually clean it it is not so easy but I would suggest go with the French press because it will allow you to make like a tea kind of effect for the coffee so the coffee doesn't is not drained by the heating water directly from the filter it, it is stayed to some extent for some time and it gets all the aroma and everything to the hot water so let's check it out after five minutes so now it's one minute is done so i need to wait another three minutes So the five minutes time has completed. So let's press the plunger down. Okay. Since I'm making one cup of coffee, you can see the water and the coffee powder is here. So just pour the coffee. Now make sure before you pour that the arrow is pointing to the outlet.
as you can see it's completely drained out so there is no water or coffee powder is wasted and it's perfect cup of coffee so before I stir I need to wash the spoon and dry it Why? Because there might be some coffee powder which might have been left over in the spoon. So now stir it. So I prefer to drink without sugar, but if you like sugar, you can add some sugar to the coffee for the taste. Yeah, that's it.